How these two moms founded a billion dollar business with just $67. Zipcar's history goes long back to when car rental businesses weren't widespread and known to the American people. Two moms originated the concept, which at the time was unique and remarkable. It was the passion of these two moms that changed the way we think about transportation today. This was the reason that made Zipcar a huge success within just a few months. The vision of Zipcar was created in the year 2000 by Harvard geochemist Anchia Danielson and homemaker Robin Chase, a graduate of MIT's business school. Their story began during the late 1990s when Aunt Chia's son Max and Robin's daughter Linnea became friends while playing on a tire swing in Cambridge, Massachusetts's Dana Park. Although the two women, both 42, had met at their kids' kindergartens, they got to know each other better while supervising their kids at the playground. Chase began telling Danielson about her entrepreneurial ambitions and her dream to use her business degree. Danielson also expressed her desire to move out of the university which led her to consider entrepreneurship along with Chase. Danielson was supported greatly by her husband in her entrepreneurial endeavors. On a cold October afternoon in 1999, Danielson talked to Chase about her car sharing idea. The idea occurred to her when she visited Berlin and saw people sharing cars there. It was exciting for Chase, but she wanted to make sure her husband was with her before taking such a big step. Later that night, she went home to talk with him, and both of them finally decided to move forward with this idea. Danielson was born in Germany, but her first experience in the United States was during her postdoctoral program in geochemistry at Harvard University. As Danielson gave birth to her first child in 1993, she became concerned about her son's future. The magnitude of environmental problems was obvious to her. Her aim shifted towards starting a company that focused on environmental issues. In search of ideas, Danielson turned to scientific journals. In the course of her research, she came across a study about the Mobility Cooperative of Switzerland. This European car share company offered a variety of different services, unlike those found in the US. With over 700 vehicles and 17,400 customers, Mobility was a huge company. Among its greatest assets was technology. It created a system that made it possible for members to access cars without constantly swapping keys. Daniels figured she could do the same thing in the United States. But Danielson needed her job at Harvard since her family largely relied on her income, whereas Chase was able to dedicate all her time to the new business, ending up as a big success. Chase, a daughter of a US diplomat who had only $67 in her account, began seeking investors at the end of 1999. With the blueprints of their business plans in hand, both women went to seek Glenn Urban's feedback, who was MIT's dean and Chase's mentor. He told them their plan is far too slow and should be upgraded by a factor of three. To advertise her startup idea, she talked to a lot of people. And to her surprise, she managed to receive $75,000 as startup funding from extremely generous investors. Chase's first investor was a friend from MIT who invested $50,000 in the startup. Not only that, but she received a $25,000 check from an angel investor a few days before the launch. That is what we call networking at its finest. Now after that, Chase got busy thinking about dozens of names for the business. At last, she narrowed it down to these three. US Car Share, Wheel Share, and Zipcar. Whenever she was at a coffee shop or a grocery store, or her children's sports meets, she asked people what each name meant to them. When people heard wheel share, they thought of wheelchair. US car share also performed poorly. Almost everyone disliked the word sharing. Zipcar, however, scored the highest, and hence the company got its name. Likewise, Chase tested several slogans and ultimately decided upon wheels when you want them. With everything set, Danielson became Zipcar's vice president, while Chase became its president. In April 2000, the company released its first Zipcar the Volkswagen Beetle Bilbo in Central Square, Cambridge. Within a month of its launch, Zipcar had 600 customers. Zipcar introduced its first hybrid car to its fleet in January 2003. Due to its revolutionary and cutting-edge technology, Zipcar soon became a major success. In August, the company extended its out-of-campus services to colleges and universities as well, the very first one being Wellesley College in Massachusetts, USA. While the company grew together, its co-founders drifted apart. Robin and Antia were not on the best of terms. 
It was Robin who wanted extra shares, but Anchi insisted that they share them equally. Chase asked Zipcar's board to give her the power to hire and fire anyone without consulting anyone. Considering that it would make things easier for the company as it was expanding, Danielson voted yes on the proposition. Two hours later, Danielson finds out she was fired. Robin was determined to be the central power in the company, and she took advantage of every opportunity that presented itself. But according to Robin, Danielson left Zipcar on her own, as she could not manage running a company as well as working at Harvard on a full-time basis. The company expanded into Washington, D.C. and New York City, with its headquarters in Boston, Massachusetts. After two years of Danielson's firing at Zipcar, Chase also left the company. As of today, Zipcar operates in more than 26 American cities and has 860,000 members in the U.S., Canada, U.K., Austria, Spain, France, and Belgium. In January 2013, Zipcar was bought by car rental giant Avis for $491 million, increasing Zipcar's profile even more. Today, Chase is the chief executive and founder of the vehicle communications company Venium Works California, and the founder of Buzzcar, a peer-to-peer -peer car rental company based in France. In 2009, Time Magazine selected her as one of the 100 most influential people for her works on entrepreneurship, environmentalism, and Zipcar's origin. Danielson has been in academia since she left Zipcar. In her role as administrative director of the Institute of the Environment, she oversees the day-to-day -day activities of Tufts, Massachusetts's environmental programs. She intends to use her position to improve environmental education around the world in the future. Having recently gone through a divorce, her life has not been easy. However, the blows have not slowed her down. She even admits that she still uses Zipcar from time to time, saying she's proud to have founded the company. Whereas Zipcar, as of today, rents out nearly 50 different types of cars, including luxury models such as Audi and BMW. The reason for the company's success is that it was built through word of mouth advertising and had invested well in the technology. It was an idea that grew from customer feedback. During the 21st century, it has grown at an exceptional rate. Zipcar had a successful history despite the departure of its co-founders over a decade ago. Many aspiring entrepreneurs have looked up to Robin Chase and Anchia Danielson as role models. They taught, how can one person move out of his boundaries and build a support system for himself on his own if he has the will to do it? Despite the challenges of living in a changing world, those around you can learn valuable lessons from you by watching how you live your life. Every day, strive hard to create the kind of world you want to live in. So that was the story of two moms with a business idea and just $67 in the bank who saw a dream and with carefully crafted steps, managed to fulfill that dream and turn it into a huge success in no time. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to our channel as we have lots more motivation in store for you. Thank you.